Hey guys, what's up? We're back and we're doing a little vloggy thing today. What are we doing? Today we're gonna do the 15 weirdest questions tag. Yes. So maybe that way you guys will get to know us a little bit better because they're just like really random 15 questions. Yeah, so for those of you who are gonna stumble across our channel, here you go, 15 random questions that you never wanted to know about us, or maybe you did, <laughs> and you just didn't know, but here you go. Here you go. What's a nickname that only your family calls you? A nickname my family calls me, um, well, when my baby sister was born, she couldn't pronounce my name, Sunny, mm -hmm. and so she'd call me Nunny. Nunny. So they, So they still will say that every now and then, they'll call me Nunny. Um, yeah, so that's my nickname. How about you? Uh, I don't have one. You don't have one? No. Her friends always call her Freeds. Yeah, my friends call me Freeds. So, I would say that your friends are kind of like your family, and, um, Freeds, she goes by Fred sometimes, because people, it's hard for them to pronounce, pronounce Freedia. Freedia. So, when I go to Starbucks, <laughs> I say Fred. Fred. It's just easy. Fred. Next question is, what's a weird habit of yours? Oh, I know what my weird habit is. Or are you supposed to tell you about each other's? Oh, we are? Or, or I don't know. What's a weird habit of mine? <laughs> <laughs> what do I do that's weird to you? What is it? You walk around the house with your feet like this because the, the floor is cold. Oh, yeah. I guess it's a weird habit. <laughs> like, I, because the floor is so cold, I'll walk on, like, the edges of my feet. Yeah. I think that's just a survival, <laughs> survival <laughs> technique. Surviving that's a that survival way. technique. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I think my weird habit is I touch my nose a lot and my oh. chin. Oh, yeah, yeah. She does this sometimes. Like, I don't know oh, why. I'm talking, I'm talking my and my chin. chin. Yeah. But I think this is because in Japan, when you say me, instead of doing this, we say me. Like, you touch your nose. Oh. So, I think that's On the nose. On that's the me. Nose. Question number three. Do you have any weird phobias? I mean, I'm... Oh, it's weird, but I'm, I'm afraid of like heights. That's scary to me. Are you really? Yeah, like really high heights. Like I can get on a rooftop, like our roof, and put up Christmas lights. But like really tall buildings, I'm like, ooh. Oh, so maybe I shouldn't have scheduled the skydiving thing. Oh my time. gosh! No. <laughs> um. Um. Phobias. I'm not really afraid of. Like I don't like snakes or like cockroaches. I guess I don't know. Yeah. That is weird. Yeah, I don't have any, I don't know, weird phobias. I'm pretty good with everything, too. I'm not, no, I'm not. like, I've tried weird foods. Yeah, we both tried weird foods. We don't have any phobias. We are unaphobiatic, unaphobic, nonphobic. Nonphobic. Mm. Question number four. What's a song you secretly love to blast and belt out when you're at home? Wow. Um, I think, I mean, I always love playing that song by N.W.A., Express Yourself. That's a jam of mine. Express yourself. Dun -dun 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 Express yourself. That song. I was going to say Taylor Swift. But I can't sing it right now because I watched the Katy Perry movie oh. yesterday. Um... Wrecking Ball comes to mind lately because <laughs> I think everybody's singing Wrecking Ball, so you know, I mean that one. That's true. I don't really do this at all, but uh, I guess if there's a song recently. Wrecking Ball. Yeah, wrecking I, I ball. guess same here. We can all turn up Wrecking Ball. Or that song from Frozen recently. Oh yeah, the movie Frozen, like Let It Go, Let, let It go. go. That song. Yep. Cold never bothered me anyway. Love musical Disney movies. Question number five. What is your pet peeve? Um, man, I have a few pet peeves. The one that comes to mind for me the most that I just can't stand at all is when people um, don't use their turn signal. I think that's the most frustrating thing. Like when you're driving, if yeah. you're that person that's not using your turn signal to <laughs> indicate that you're coming into my lane, oh man. Like, I just don't know how we can be friends it's just i don't know it, you know please use your turning signal it just it would help us all be more peaceful and yeah that's true get along please how about you pet peeve um my pet peeve is dirty floors i'm not a fan of dirty floors because yeah. when i come home i like 
like to do it Japanese style and take your shoes off at the door so I can walk around the house barefooted and when there's like little stones or whatever it just bugs me and I just need to sweep it up or I just can't sleep or anything. I like to do it American style where I <laughs> tramp around in my boots, my muddy boots and just get mud everywhere. Sorry, that's, I'm, I'm her pet peeve. <laughs> Question number six, what are your nervous habits? Ooh, nervous habits. Um, well, I, I, actually it's when I'm creating, but I'll like hum. Um, I'll like, when I'm really into it, I'll really start to hum. And then I also do, I'll start to like, like do things, weird things with my tongue. Yeah, like, it starts coming out. Like my tongue starts coming out of my mouth and you know, <laughs> when I'm nervous, Especially like, and she caught me the other night, I was playing a video game and I was like, this is really hard level. And I was like, <laughs> and she was like, what is going on what? with your tongue? I hadn't seen that much tongue. <laughs> My nervous habit, I actually enjoy being nervous, if that's a thing. When I get nervous, it kind of makes me um, be like, I'm going to beat this, it's going to be better than ever. And so I'm always... Maybe that's a thing that I've always done, but I always try to make myself nervous so that when that whatever happens, I can do it. You're ready for you're ready for the moment. You, you know, you charge yourself up for that that moment in battle. And yeah, you know, she's got nerves of steel. That's what it is. Nerves of steel. Ping ping ping. Or tinfoil. <laughs> nerves of tinfoil. Question number seven. What side of the bed do you sleep on? I sleep on the left hand side of the bed. I sleep on the right hand side of the bed. Which, you know, makes sense, I guess, because I'm left handed. So I get out with my left. Oh, is that why? I don't know. I just thought about that. Somehow we just landed that we way. We just landed that way. Here's the thing, though. Like, she always likes to be the closest person to the door. Yeah, he noticed that the other day, and I didn't. So I that, have never seen that. That always has an effect, I think, on where we end up sleeping. Is she'll be the closest one to the door. Yeah. So like when we're staying at a hotel or something, for some reason, I always choose the side closest to the door. I didn't notice that until he pointed it out. So. I think it's so if there's a fire, she can run out and save herself first. No, I would <laughs> I'm save you guys. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Question number eight: What's the first stuffed animal and its name? Um, I had the the sock monkey. I always remember that I had that sock monkey, but it didn't have a name, but it came with me everywhere. I remember getting, um, I remember when we'd come out to Disneyland or to SeaWorld, we would always get, you know, like a Mickey doll or a McDonald or, um, when we go to SeaWorld, we got a Shamu, we got a dolphin. So those are the earliest memories I think I have of of having a special toy was was the ones I brought yeah. back home from theme parks. I actually remember one more that I had the Thumper, you know Bambi's friend. Oh yeah, Thumper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I used to carry Thumper around everywhere. Yeah. I have photos of me holding Thumper. You can call me Flower if you want. Yeah. Is that good? Yeah. Right. Question number nine: What's the drink you always order at Starbucks? I know what he orders. Finally, a great question because this is something <laughs> we can answer. <laughs> um, okay, yeah. What what do we order? What do we... He orders the white chocolate mocha, but recently it's the white peppermint chocolate mocha yeah. with... Peppermint white chocolate mocha. Whatever, it's the same thing. Yeah, I'm just saying it right. So if you want to order it, peppermint white chocolate mocha. With a little bit of whipped cream. You can order it all year round. Here's the secret. Anytime you want, they, they can add peppermint to it, but it's sort of a holiday drink that oh. they have. I don't like to get... I'm not going to get that in summertime because I feel like it's part of the season, so... Um, Wait, so what do you drink in the summer then? In the summer, well, I like, you know, Frappuccino. But I also just get the regular white chocolate mocha when yeah. it's not the holiday season. So basically it's the white chocolate mocha with or Pepper. without the peppermint. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's me. Um, you, uh, she'll get a caramel Frappuccino or a, a salted caramel latte. Recently, she's gotten more into to coffee. She'll She kind of like blurs the lines uh, by getting like a dirty chai you know which yeah. is so it's like a chai tea with coffee in it um, that's sort of like her way of sort of coming over to the dark side of drinking coffee but I'm getting there but she usually drinks tea a lot yeah. of tea and I usually um, do the soy chai latte soy chai lattes but if they have almond milk I prefer almond milk 
and I'm the picky one. Which way do you face in the shower? That's really random. Uh, why is that a dumb question? I face this way. I face the way of the water coming out of your face. <laughs> Like, why is there, like, there's a way to face in the shower? Alright, the next question is, what's your favorite comfort food that's bad for you, but you eat it anyways? I mean, my favorite comfort food, I love grilled cheese sandwiches and tomato soup. Oh, that, we haven't that's, heard that recently. That's the best comfort food on, like, a rainy day or, you know, when you're just home. Um, yeah. It's not that bad for you, but I guess if you put a lot of cheese and the bread, you know, I would say, butter. Yeah, it is kind about you um i would probably say that it's mac and cheese oh mac and cheese is killer yeah i think that's because i've been with you though i oh, don't really? think i really loved mac and that cheese that is your bad thing when she's not eating mac and cheese she's shoving chocolate in her face <laughs> oh well chocolate i'm eating dark chocolate she so. loves chocolate and then like she'll eat all these cute little like japanese snacks and candies and things like i honestly think she does more like sweets and things than i do but uh yeah, you know maybe. I'll, I'll love her we'll love her <laughs> next question do you have any weird body skills i Let's see it can do got? this oh yeah make sure they can see it over there I can have my middle finger go through my front two fingers. Boom. Whoa, that's Boom. so weird. Boom. Boom. Um, I guess I'm like I'm double jointed. I could do that. Uh, not not in a crazy way. My brother-in-law can actually like, twist his whole arm around like a pretzel. That's weird. Um, one thing I, I one thing I have always been able to do is like this is this is weird, but I've been able to like push my chest in. Whoa, that's weird. Ooh, I've never noticed that. Yeah, it's something I like. I can I can do. I've just been able to like. Don't do that. I can push my chest in. It was like you know, anytime I got asked to do something weird, that was the thing I could do, and people would freak out. Like, oh my god. Ah. Yeah, I don't like that. Let's not do that. Anymore. Not that. Next question. What's a phrase or exclamation you always say? She always says, "That's so cute." <laughs> oh, it's so cute. But, you know, what which is you funny say. about, you know, being with a girl, and I think a lot of guys, a lot of my guy friends that are, you know, dating somebody or, or married or whatever, we also say, that is so cute. <laughs> that's but true. I say that about, like, so many things. Like, oh my gosh, that's so cute. And I'm like, and I'm saying it to another dude, and, like, we both get each other. Because we're both <laughs> like, yeah, that is really cute. Yeah. So, <laughs> I think that's really funny. Recently, it's because one of our friends said, don't bro me if you don't know yeah. me. There's a lot of bro <laughs> stuff going on. We say, you know, like, what's up, bro Or Yeah, what's, what's up, up bro -sef? Yeah, we like to, you know, don't bro me if you don't know me. Yeah. That's been our phrases we've been just sort of throwing around lately. Yeah. Um, I'll probably, I always say, basically, I use the word basically. No, I can see that. And um, I'm always like, what? That's a big <laughs> one for me. Like, what? Yeah. Time to sleep. What are you wearing? Um, I like to sleep in a t-shirt, like a nice oversized t-shirt. Mm -hmm. And um, I'm always wearing like Adidas. Uh, they're like sports shorts, like, you know, like Laker shorts or something. Um, those are the most comfortable to me. Just like big baggy shorts. Yeah. Um, when I'm just lounging around the house, I'll wear my Batman onesie. He got a onesie, you guys. And from Target. Yep. It's made for adults. Has a cape. It has a cape and everything. Um, I have no problem wearing that. <laughs> Even when I go out to check the mail and get weird looks. Yeah. Whatever. Yeah, it's cute. I what approve. About what about you? Um, me, I can't sleep with any long sleeve or pants. I have my underwear on, but it has to be like a tank top or like a t-shirt, something that I can move around in. I just, I can't sleep with pants on. You've gone down to 7-Eleven to get milk, and you decide to buy me something, or I buy him something, a treat. What do you get? Um, I think I would go with the safe bet and I'd buy her a Snickers bar. The Snickers ice cream bar! Snickers ice cream bar. Hey. I, so it's close enough. I mean, that what if they don't have close. ice cream? What if it's a hot summer and there's no ice cream? Snickers. Yeah. And for him, I think it would 
either be the dark chocolate Milky Way <laughs> or um, a pack of gummy bears. Totally. Yeah. Yeah. Nice job. That's, we know each other. That's so me. All right. Those are some uh, random questions. Uh, some of them are a little weird, but there you go. We <laughs> answered them to the best of our abilities. Yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And I think we're actually going to be doing a few more of these videos where we're just sitting in front of the camera and talking to you guys. So if you do have any questions, suggestions, ideas, anything of the sort, please let us know. We'd love to talk about it. Yeah, what do you want to hear us talk about? Yeah. Cool. Thanks for watching the video. I uh, hope you liked it. Please subscribe and... Like it. Like this video. And we will see you guys soon. Bye.